everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special video for you because I have a guest star. The guest star is my mom. <laughs> Hi everybody! <laughs> we are here because we are going to be doing a lipstick review for you and since it's usually just me staring into a mirror trying to figure out if I like something, today I thought I would bring the biggest critic and judge that I know and that would be my mother. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying on a bunch of Jouer lipsticks, some from their anniversary collection and others from the permanent collection. Once I put them on, I am going to turn over to my biggest critic here and have her tell me if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. By the way, if you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe because this one here is hilarious. The lipstick I currently have on right now is from Jouer's Anniversary Collection. This is in the shade Cayenne. Mom, what do you think of this shade? Which one? This one, right here. The one that I'm nice. wearing. Beautiful. You like it? Yeah. Why do you like it? Because it's like my mo. My mom just said because it's looking like a monkey. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, well, Cayenne is one of the new metallic shades from Jouer. I think it is actually quite lovely. Um, it does have a red and gold undertone to it. I think it looks beautiful on. The one thing I will say about this shade here is that it does tend to pill right on the inner part of your lips. So that color seems to fade very, very quickly and you need to reapply. But otherwise, this is extremely comfortable to wear. Um, and I promise you, you will not look like a monkey. The next color I am gonna be trying on is in the shade Bronze Rose. Bronze Rose is the perfect name for this color because it is exactly what it looks like. It's got a bronze undertone to it, but it is a beautiful sort of mauvey, rosy color. So let's put this one on my lips and then ask mom what she thinks. I actually like this color. I think it looks pretty good. The application was also very smooth. It didn't go on patchy, but I did have to use two coats to fully cover my lips and get the nice opacity that Jouer lipsticks normally have. Um, Mom, what do you think of this color? This is more better than the other. Why is this one better? Uh, they get lazy. Mom's like, she likes this one more because it's not as shiny as the other one. So I guess mom's not really a fan of the metallic color so much. Although I have to say this one is a little bit on the metallic side, but it is much more subdued. The next color we're going in with is the color blush. This one is a much more neutral color. It's still on the rosy side, but I'd say this one is definitely a lot more muted. Let's put this bad boy on and see what happens. And there is the color blush. So this one is definitely more neutral as I'm looking into the mirror. It's almost like your lip color, but a little bit better. Um, it did go on pretty easily, not streaky, and I only needed one coat to gain full opacity. Since this one is one of their matte lipsticks, it is sort of settling into the fine lines on my lips, but overall, I like the color. Mom, what do you think? I don't know. What do you mean? It's like your lipstick. Yeah, so it's like a Natural. normal, it looks like my lips, but better. Yeah. yeah. So for this color, mom is just indifferent. The next color we're going to be trying on is Petal de Rose, or as I like to call it, Rose Petal. <laughs> so this one is very similar to Blush, although it is a little bit sort of deeper in tone, so it's just a deeper pink color. Mom, what do you think of the swatch? Yeah, nice. Mom likes this one. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on and see how that goes. I put this color on and I really don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's nice. I don't think it looks bad or anything. Um, very easy to apply, very opaque when you put it on. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if it looks good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. This one was Power Rose. Let me know if you think this one looks good. But let's ask the critic over here. Mom, what do you think? It's not bad. Not bad. Hey. You know what? That means it's good. <laughs> yeah. 
The next color that we're going to try on is Brick. So Brick is from Jouer's Permanent Collection, and I really like this one because it is a little more of a dark red, sort of a, a dark orangey brown red. It looks absolutely stunning as a swatch. What do you think, Ma? Too dark. You, this too dark. All right, so I'm going to put this on, and then we'll we'll see what she says. So there is Brick Red. This is one of my favorite colors from Jouer. Mom, what do you think? Nice. Do you actually like it or are you just saying that? You know something? What? For myself, I don't like it, the lipstick. Nobody. Why don't you like lipstick? Because it's very fat and stink. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Lipstick is awful because it's very fatty and it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like lipstick, so I am a big fan of this color, but this is a try-on video, so I'm gonna take this one off and keep going. We've got two more colors. Okay, guys, the next color we have is called Fraise Bonbon, which means strawberry bonbon, strawberry candy. Um, this one here is a super bright red color. It's almost a berry hue. I think this one is going to look great in the summer. So one that we'll definitely want to start wearing more and more when the weather warms up. Mom, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> look at the camera. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why don't you like it? Uh, it's too, too red. Too red? What's wrong with having a color that's too red? I don't know. <laughs> it's too... Fenetopoly. My mom says it's too bold. But we're gonna try it on anyways and see how it yeah. looks on the lips. Okay. This lipstick did not go on as well as I would have liked, but I think that's because my lips are starting to get super dry and chapped right now because of all of the swatches that I am doing. That's okay. The color is still on. I find that it actually looks a lot brighter when you apply it than it does when you look at it in the actual tube. So I think the color is a little bit misleading on the outside. Side, but mom what do you think too red there you have it folks her opinion is it's too red <laughs> um i don't mind this for the summer it's not a tone that i would normally gravitate towards but eh, you know it's something that some people might like to wear more than others i think i might pop this out if i'm just looking for a really nice pop of color <laughs> As you can tell, my lips are so stained right now from that last color. Um, that one is definitely one you want to try on on its own or just wear on its own. If you are looking to switch colors throughout the day, it's not going to happen. Um, but we are on the last color and my lips are so thankful. We are going to be putting on Cabernet and Cabernet is another one of my favorite colors in Jouer's permanent collection. This one is more of a deep sort of wine red color. I think this is gonna be so flattering on so many different skin tones. You can hopefully see it right there. Mom, what do you think? Which one of this? Yeah. yeah. It's the same like this. Mom thinks it's the same as the brick color, but no, this one's like more of a dark red. A little bit dark, yeah. Okay, I think that one looks a little bit better, but everyone's gonna have their preferences, but these are definitely like the deeper wine tones, the ones that I lean more towards. So let's put this last bad boy on and see what happens. This color is actually a lot more streaky and I find that the formula has almost dried out a little bit. It's not as creamy and moussey and velvety really as some of the newer Jouer lipsticks that I just recently purchased. I finally put on Cabernet and it's just not working for me. Anytime I put my lips together, I move around, the lipstick just shifts even when it's drying down. It is really drying out my lips as well. I do not like this formula for this color here. It is absolutely awful. I hate the way it looks on my lips right now, even though this is such a stunning color. Mom, what do you think? Yeah, you're right. See, for once I'm right. Generally speaking, I do like the Jouer lipsticks. I think the formula is quite nice. I think it wears really comfortably throughout the day. I think if you do have lips that are on the drier side like mine, you definitely want to put on a nice balm before you apply this lipstick. 
Mom, do you have anything you want to tell everybody? The better of the stick. It's nothing to put in the in the lips. <laughs> Let me translate for you. <laughs> Mom basically just wants it to be natural. She doesn't want to put any makeup on her face. As you can tell, my mom is bare face. There's wise words for my mother if you want to follow that. If you want to follow me, um, then definitely do what makes you feel good. If you want to wear lipstick and you want to have some yeah. fun with colors, then go for it. No one's ever going to stop you. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up up and give my mom a big thumbs up for being here. I know she hates being on camera, so this is a big deal for her. Um, please leave nice comments below as well, um, and if you're just trolling, keep on moving. Thank you very much. <laughs> Help everybody to my daughter. <laughs> See? Bring people my way. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and also be sure to connect with me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm going to link everything in the description box below for you. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you are having an amazing day no matter where you are in the world. Stay beautiful and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.